Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In rectangle ABCD, side AB has a length equal to 8. We will then construct two circles in the interior of the rectangle as shown. One circle is tangent to sides AB and BC, the other circle is tangent to sides AD and CD, and the two circles are tangent to each other. We will then construct EF that goes through the tangent point between the two circles. Suppose EF is parallel to the side AB and EF is equal to 6. The question is what is the length BC equal to? I think Taka, who's on Twitter at PanBTC, who created this puzzle. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We will prove the rather fascinating result that BC is always equal to 9. What's amazing is that BC is equal to 9 regardless of the sizes of the two circles. Because EF is equal to 6, that exactly specifies that BC is equal to 9. Why is that the case? Let's first review some concepts. We'll go over the perpendicular bisector of a chord and the centers of tangent circles. First, let's go over the perpendicular bisector of a chord. Suppose we have a circle with a chord AB. Let's construct the perpendicular bisector L. It'll be perpendicular and it'll bisect AB. Every single point on L will be equidistant from A and B. This will also be true for the center of the circle because the center of the circle has the same distance to the points A and B. Therefore, the perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through a circle center. Now let's review the centers of tangent circles. Suppose we have circles A and B that meet at a tangent point T. Let's construct the tangent line. Note that the radius AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line, as will the radius BT. Therefore, ATB will be a straight line. The centers and the tangent point are collinear. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. We'll use these facts to solve the problem. We will first write T for the tangent point between the two circles. We will then construct the perpendicular bisector of ET, and that will contain the center of the top circle. We will then construct the perpendicular bisector of TF, and that will contain the center of the bottom circle. Let's now calculate the vertical distance between the two diameters of these two circles. How can we do that? Notice that ET plus TF is equal to EF. This means half of ET plus half of TF is equal to half of EF. Therefore, we have the length of this vertical distance will be equal to EF over 2, which is equal to 3. Now let's consider the radius of the top circle, suppose it has a length equal to x, and then the radius of the bottom circle, which has a length equal to y. The vertical distance will be x plus the distance between the two centers plus y. We thus have this is equal to ab, which is equal to 8. So we have x plus 3 plus y is equal to 8. If we subtract 3 from both sides, we get that x plus y is equal to 5. From here, let's move this vertical distance over to the left. This is exactly equal to 3. We will then construct the line that goes through the two centers of the two circles and the tangent point. This will have a length equal to x plus y. We just showed that x plus y is equal to 5. We thus have a right triangle with a hypotenuse equal to 5 and one leg equal to 3. We can use the Gogu theorem to determine the remaining leg is equal to 4, and we have the famous Egyptian 3-4-5 right triangle. From here, we'll construct the horizontal distances. Notice that we have a horizontal distance of x here. We then have a horizontal distance of 4 between the two centers. And finally, we have a horizontal distance of y. And this all together will be equal to the length of BC. Therefore, BC is equal to x plus 4 plus y. Since x plus y is equal to 5, we can simplify that this is equal to 4 plus 5. 
Thus, BC is equal to 9 exactly, and that's our answer. What's remarkable is that this is always our answer because we have a 3, 4, 5 right triangle that goes between the two centers of the two circles. This exactly determines that BC will always be equal to 9. I find it fascinating that this ancient Egyptian 3, 4, 5 right triangle is the key to solving this problem. Incredible! Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.